Hey, in this video, we're going to take a look at Help Crunch and get set up to actually put this on our website. I'm going to configure the chat widget. I'm going to send some emails. I'm going to I'm going to show you a lot of stuff in this video. And I will say right off the bat, I'm pretty impressed with this. This is some powerful software, so I definitely think you should take a look at it. Let's check it out. Hey everybody, this is David with TechSmart Boss here with another video. Today I'm going to take a look at Help Crunch, helpcrunch.com. Uh, it's a very robust chat, but chat is actually not really a good explanation of what it does. It's more like intercom in that it has chat, it has in-app messenger capabilities, auto messages, email automation, it even has a help desk. So it's one of those apps where you can probably replace you know, many of your apps. Uh, together. If you look at the features here, just a, quite a lot of features here, and they got more stuff coming soon. So I, I think they're really targeting Intercom. You can see here comparison, Intercom and Zendesk. And I think they're doing a pretty good job, but I've never taken a look under the covers. So we're going to take a look today. Now they do have a free plan if you're just looking for the chat, and that's kind of limited, just one agent and 500 contacts. But you'll see here if you go to their live chat and emails, then you can get into some more things and start to look at the cost as you scale up your team. Um, so this is powerful software. It's not necessarily going to be cheap because you are replacing multiple tools with this one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a trial on this standard one and that's going to unlock some of the help desk and the email things that you don't get on just the live chat alone and we're going to see what the onboarding experience is like. So what you have to do when you want to get this trial, you'll know if I click here, and this is pretty cool actually, it shows you some of their features. I'm going to click here, it actually opens up the chat box. You have to actually chat with them to request that trial. I like that. That That's a pretty cool thing. Watch this. I'm going to do it again. Boom. And it opens up that chat box. So just think about the things you could do with that. I've already chatted with them. I've already set it up. They gave me a link to, to set up my free account, and then they're going to upgrade me to that trial. So let's go ahead and put in our information here and kind of see what the onboarding is like. And then I'll probably pause this as I go back to chat with them and tell them I'm ready for the upgrade to the trial of standard. So I'm going to give it a password, agree to their terms. I'm not going to read them, but I always recommend you look at your terms and privacy policy and learn how to kind of scan those quickly as a TechSmart boss. And uh, no credit card required. I like that 14 days. Let's go ahead and sign up and see what this is going to look like. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting this to probably set me up for that free live chat only. Have a little step, a little bit of onboarding related to this. So I'll go through that and then I'll go back and, and, and tell them I'm ready to see the rest of it. So let's look at both actually. So I'm going to not do notifications in my browser. Let's get you set up just as I expected. So let's see what they're on board. Now this is pretty cool that they have multilingual onboarding. That's that's a neat little touch there. All right, let's go and go through their setup wizard. So the first thing they want you to put, of course, the help crunch widget on your website. Let's see what the choices are here. Google Tag Manager, WordPress. You know, I actually have WordPress. Let's let's see what that one looks like. It says uh, add help crunch to your WordPress site and start chatting with your visitors. Just copy this and fill it. But that's interesting because I was I was assuming that um, it was going to ask me for a plug in to install a plug in. I'm not quite sure how this would work without a plug in. And because I'm not sure, I'm not going to get into it right now in this video. I'm just going to go ahead and put the put the code in myself. Let me copy this code. And I'm going to go over to my TechSmart Boss WordPress admin, and I'll probably blur some stuff out of here. I'm going to go right into my, um, well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to pause this for a second um, because I've got some security turned on where I don't have my editor exposed. I'm going to turn that on, and I'll come back and, and resume. So stay tuned one second. All right, I'm back. I got that turned on. I'll blur a couple things out here, but essentially all I'm going to do is right above this body tag, I'm going to pop their code in there. Um, and, you know, that'll make it easy for me to pop it out as as well. But that should uh, do it. So, as I say, I'm going to blur some of this out. I would recommend you be careful if you're ever updating your, your WordPress stuff directly. But I'll go ahead and, and, and turn that script on there and update that file. All right, there we go. Now, 
I haven't done any setup in Help Crunch. <clears throat> I'm kind of curious to see if I were to refresh my site over here, if it's actually already put that widget on there. And yeah, it has actually. So that's just something to know. You probably want to set it up before you do that. But it is showing my name, and it's got some auto prompts already set up. So that's that's pretty fast, and that's that's pretty cool. Um, there's the branding, as you can see there, Help Crunch. Um, but let's let's go and see what the rest of the onboarding is gonna do for us. So just know, once you put that code, it's live. I didn't know if it would be where I had to go and and um, activate it or anything like that. So let's see what kind of setup things we have. This is I haven't done any chats yet, but I definitely can. And uh, let's see where else I go. I can invite. That's my contacts, all the people that come in. I want to see where I can. Okay, here's some of those uh, that welcome message that you saw. The website greeting for new visitors is on. That's why that popped in there. Let's click on that. And uh, the proactive chat trigger looks pretty robust. It's giving me some performance. That's a, that's a nice little inline dashboard of stats there. I can, of course, adjust the title. I can adjust who sends it. I can determine where I want it to go. If I'm online or offline, that's a very nice feature. You don't want to prompt people to chat with. That's one of my pet peeves. Uh, and who to send it to. So I'm, I'm liking the, uh, the, the in-depth settings that I see here. And I can set up rules on when I want it to launch. So that, that's a really, that, this is a, that's one of the best proactive chat triggers that I've seen. Let's go back and take a look out of the box. It looks like they give you a bunch out of the box there, which is pretty cool. And they're pretty easy to turn on and off. And I can add some new ones. All right, what else I got here? Manual messages. Um, don't have any of that. But chat follow-up is a very useful one that once you finish a chat, it emails them the contents of that chat is what I'm assuming this is. And yep, you could do that. Um, oh, it looks like this is actually, you could put a message in there. Have segmentation. So I'm getting in the weeds a little bit on this, but you can kind of see there's a lot of power under the covers here. And it, they also have pop-ups. So I personally use Convertful, and I talk about that on the podcast a lot. But if you do need those uh, pop-ups and things like that, they have they have a lot of those call-to-action pop-ups. So you can see here what what it looks like. And this looks like a pretty good pop-up environment. You can say where do you want it to pop up, set your colors, set your headings, set your text, your animation, your button information, where the button's going to go. So um, it might not be for collecting, but it could be for routing and, and sending information. So that's a nice feature on the pop-up side. And there's the reports. Now, here's my settings. And this is what I was looking for. Wow. I mean, you know, they put a lot of time. This is, uh, you know, I, I knew this was a good product, but I had never played with it. And you can kind of see that there's a lot of stuff going on behind the covers here. This is not uh, a startup or not some beta product that just happened to. to I'm going to go ahead and put my logo Let's do this. Let's uh, set my chat wizard up since uh, I'm in this section. I'm going to blur out my busy finder here and find my TechSmart Boss logo. That's good. Let's put that in there. And there it is. Uh, do I want it to be big or small? Okay. Do I, uh, I can't hide the branding on the standard. Yeah, there it goes. I have to upgrade for that. Let's see, I can put some wallpaper. This sometimes make your chat look a little nicer if you have some gradients and some things behind. You see how it's showing up there. I'll go with the craziest one, which is this color scheme. Uh, my color, you know, I always like the 005 FAC. There we go. Uh, acceptance boxes. Now, and this is where I can change those. Okay, I was hoping I could do this, is I could change my button style. Uh, let's go with this one. And I can even upload, which is which is very nice. And I can even use my agent avatar in the conversation. Again, very nice. I, th these guys have thought. I mean, this is this is more robust than most chat tools that you come across. So I, I like this. Let's go ahead and apply that, and let's refresh and see if that uh, takes effect there. All right, should be there. It, there it is. Look at that. Got my new logo. Got my new colors. Got my background. I mean, hey, it, it just works. You can't really get much easier than that all right i think what i want to do now is turn on those other features that we don't have at the moment uh, before i even do that let me just send a little chat in there and say uh hi david now they say it's okay to talk to yourself 
but if you respond that's when you got trouble so I'm gonna send me a talk to myself here and I'm gonna do the thing that you're not supposed to do which is respond so there it is I got my chat coming in I've got some information about myself populating nice user inf information stuff I can add tags so that tells me they're putting some cookies in and, and remembering people and I'll be like I'm crazy because I'm talking to myself and let's send that I can put in notes I can do formatting I mean this is all pretty good stuff here and there it is all right I got my avatar there which I haven't set up all right I'm gonna pause this and get the other features turned on and we'll see what changes so, so stay tuned all right they set me up and booted me out automatically and then they came back and said I'm all set up I will say their support is extremely responsive um, really happy to see the level of support that I've been getting I mean it literally took them like two seconds to do this so I'm gonna go ahead and log back in and now let's see the differences that we can uh, can, can spot where the email things are in place now I'm not seeing any big differences at the moment on let's look under settings and see if I okay email forwarding is one of those uh, things related to help desk so I'm pretty sure that that wasn't available before so now I can have my main support email address forwarded to this alias and it's gonna start to open up show in the chats so that's part of that help desk capability uh, let's actually go back and look and see what's there so it's the emails and the email forwarding and the help desk features that you won't see the help desk you will okay so we were in the chat is the help desk what we've unlocked now is the emails and the email forwarding all right so we just look at look at the email forwarding and then the number of emails is uh, is all the things you can do in terms of uh, manual follow-ups one-time follow-ups emails from automated campaigns and things like that so that is the difference so the email forwarding is an, is is the piece there now you'll see also I got email templates that I can set up and messaging there there's where you can turn that automatically it's in that conversation transcript that's what I was looking for before there's unsubscribe links and those sorts of things and let's let's actually see if I can let's just look around a little bit more on the, okay manual messages here we go so let's say if I were to do a chat follow-up if I see anything different underneath here I don't expect to I think it's now just the fact that I'm able and I don't have any contacts so that's part of part of my problem let's, uh, I haven't uh, let's add okay okay so I made myself a couple of contacts that I'm gonna be able to email to uh, and I, I learned something if I if I pop in this chat like actually inside the chat itself or inside a contact itself you can actually email so this is from the chat itself so that's a nice feature let's go ahead and send that all right and then over here you can send your manual messages so let's take a look at one of these on the manual side and what you have to do of course you can set your sender delays show it in the chat or not you know let's give you notice my buttons are grayed out I'm gonna give it a subject line just to go quick here now I can actually send this message uh, I can test it I've got a segment I, I got my audience so now this message will go out to two different users here and you see how that automatically refreshes so now I'm not gonna test it I'm just gonna send it let's save and launch my message so it says I'm gonna send this manual message to two people it could take up to three minutes so we'll, we'll see I won't make you wait three minutes but we see we'll see how long it gets there and boom it's just sent that now I should have two messages in my mailbox one I sent through the chat and one that I sent so I want to go open up my mailbox hold on one second I'll, I'll pause the video for that okay I'm back I had to I had to clean you know when somebody comes over your house unexpected you got to clean up your house I had to clean up my mailbox a little bit throw everything in a little mailbox zero folder there but now I've got these two messages we just sent so let's take a look at the first one this was from the chat itself and I don't know why Google does that but you'll see here it's coming from my name at my domain at help crunch and then when they reply to that 
it'll come back into that chat. In fact, let's actually go ahead and do that. Looks like I've got some unsubscribe options here in the footer. I'm sure I could change that text there. Let's just go ahead and reply to this. I am replying to that. And we'll see how that pops back into the chat. I got these messages instantly, by the way. I didn't have to wait three minutes. And this is the one that I sent through the manual one, where I just put the subject line with subject line. Well, let's take a look at this. And it's just because I'm emailing it to myself. And uh, I didn't change any of the text there, but you'll see it substituted my name. And it came through, and everything looks fine. Um, I'm just for giggles here is going to look to see if they've got all their email security set up right SPF DKIM and DMARC and they do so I have no problem at all with the way that they are sending out those emails and the last thing I want to do in this video is show you that hey I, I replied and look at this my reply popped right into what I'm thinking that they're calling the help desk and let's click on it and see if it's there and there it is I'm replying to that so both your messages and your chats all integrated with a ton of features that I haven't even started to explore. I mean, you look under settings, there's just so much to explore here. No way I can bore you on this whole video. I didn't even get up to these tabs here. Settings there, look at that. Custom CSS there. Ah, uh, you got to upgrade for that. Localization, all very nice. I think you, I don't know if you have to upgrade or not for that. But this is, this is really powerful stuff. I'm going to wrap this one up. I went a little long on this one. If you do like these kind of videos, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We put out one per week. And also check out our Facebook page. You know, TechSmartBoss.com is the website. And stay tuned for the next video.